Hi everyone, Stacy and Bill here. Hope all is well. Our friends over at the Stupid Car Tray <laughs> sent us some of the elite Stupid Car Trays to review. And I have to say, I love this thing. <laughs> That's what I have to say. They're fantastic. <laughs> now here's the thing. I was using this on car trips with the van. Yes. In the front seat, it's fantastic for making things level. For foods, for, I even have my fridge, the LP Cool fridge, yes. on this to keep it nice and level, make it super easy and handy when I was driving alone, I could get in and out of the fridge. But there are little containers in here. There's even a spot that you can put your phone at an angle with the cord coming down and out of it. Uh, they've got little containers here on the side where you can put pens or almost anything. Uh, they even make stupid hand sanitizer that fits right in there. So handy, so nice to have that. Can you imagine with the kids and everything too in yes. the back seat? You can use this as a desk. You can use this for drawing. You can use it for eating. You put this right on your, your, your knees, on your lap, and you've got a nice little tray to eat with. This thing is 100% silicone. Nothing slides. Nothing slides. I actually had my CPAP on this for over a week in the back of the car, and it didn't move once. Yep. Fantastic. I love this thing. When I went on my last trip, which was two weeks, I had one in the front seat for the Alpi Cool fridge, like I said, mm -hmm. and then I had the other on the rear seat behind me in the stone go. Yes. And I was using that as well. So I was like, you know, between the two, I was going back and forth. I even pushed the Alpi fridge back so I had access to these bins. In the back where I had the CPAP on it, and during the daytime I used it on the seat, I'd move it over to the side for the CPAP at, at some nights, yeah. depending on the trip I was on. I could put all kinds of stuff up here, like my glasses, my earplugs, because sometimes I'll use the earplugs when I'm using the CPAP. Yeah. Fantastic, let me tell you. These little straps, they fold up underneath and connect underneath when you don't need them, but when you put something on here, they stretch too. So you could put some food on there or pizza a drink boxes. tray, pizza boxes, <laughs> all kinds of things, and this will just hold things in. This would be fantastic for somebody that was doing like an Uber Eats or yeah. the food delivery services. Because you know, you've got your passenger seat there, you put this in there, it'll keep your foods level, you know, because in the back of the seat it always goes down. So the way that this sits in the seat is perfect for keeping things level. And then you've got the strap too, so you don't lose your bags or your things that are, oh, I'm telling you this thing is awesome. Now the Elite has a seat anchor. Yeah. With a quick release. So you tuck that down into the seat, and that's tucked in between the top and the bottom piece of the seat. And then you anchor that in and you quick clip it, mm -hmm. and that will keep it from moving too. But underneath here too, this thing just doesn't move. You've got a couple little hooks on the front too. In my case, in the front seat, I was hooking my mask on it. Because yes. I had a mask for going into gas it's stations quarantine. and stuff. Yep. So I would just when I get done, I'd hang it from here, and that way it wasn't laying on the floor right. or the center console. It was just dangling here and hanging off. It wasn't touching the floor or anything. It was just nice and easy. Mm -hmm. But this could also be used for, again, like somebody who's carrying home um, the foods or something. Yeah. If you have a bag with, like, the accessories and the condiments or something, hook that onto there and then set it onto the floor of the front of the car. Mm -hmm. It just keeps it all from toppling over or moving again. This thing is the smartest thing. It's called the stupid car tray, but I want to call it the smart car tray. Right. <laughs> because it really does the purpose for us. And if you watch any of our other videos when I'm out and on a trip or whatnot, you'll see these in the background. You'll actually even probably hear me talk about them because I use them constantly. So in the back in our minivan uh, for his CPAP, we have the cup holders. Yep. So what I did is I put the two ends, which typically lay on the seat in the front so that it's level. Yep. I put these in the uh, One of them was in the cup holder. One of them holder. was in the cup holder. And mm -hmm. then I just put a little insulation around it to make it, uh, because it's round versus uh, rectangle. What she used was uh, pipe insulation. Uh, it's, it's like a foam. It looks like a pool noodle, but it's smaller. And it's for pipe insulation in your basements. I just have a lot of handy things in the garage. And I happened to have a little, you know, three-inch piece of that that was cut, and it looks like a little noodle. 
course. You know? And I like Tetris. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to make this work because he didn't know how to do it. And I said, round I hole, have it. Round hole yep. for the cup holder. Put that thing in there. And then the squareness of that kind of fit in there. And it was snug. Yes. And and then then just the weight of the CPAP on top of it yes. being across the back. We'll show a picture here, too. Yep. So the CPAP sat, sat very here. nicely. Didn't move. Didn't move at all. Backing, backing out, going forward, turning side to side. Everything stayed real 80, nice here. 80 mile an hour highway speeds in Wyoming, and I was not, nothing was moving. Yeah, so. And then uh, sometimes during the day, I would take the CPAP off to move that to the rear seat because I was using this one in the front seat and this one in the back seat. And our kids are a little older now, so it really isn't that big of a deal. But I could have seen this being used by both of our kids for just everything from eating something to drawing to just having that little tray on their lap. Yeah. Like I said, when you put your knees up under here, and you put this to the side of your knee, you have a nice level, flat, sturdy, non-slip desk. Yeah. You know, that you could draw on, you could uh, eat on, all kinds of things. Great, because we did a lot of traveling when our kids were younger, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of long road trips, four to six hours. I'm telling you, this is the perfect gift for somebody who has everything, you know, but... Man, when we were going to soccer games and doing all the other things that we were doing with the kids running around constantly. Life on the go. <laughs> band. We have band kids. Yes. So, you know, we were always running around doing stuff. I wish I had this. I wish I had this at that point. But uh, now that I have it, here's the thing. We have two of them. One's supposed to be for Stacy. One's supposed to be for me. I hog them. They're both in the van all the time for me. Yes. Uh, I feel a little bit bad. I feel like I should get a third one and just put one in your car so that you have one too. So I have one. And, and I think there are a few people on our Christmas list that we may look at investing in one of these for them as well. Yes. Just just as a, like, man, we love this thing and I think you're gonna love it too. And like I said, that strap comes in super handy. How many times have you gone to go get a pizza? You throw it on your seat, it's all crooked and you know the cheese is melting and it's going in the slanting. Just last night, I went and got pizza because he didn't give me my stupid car try. I was propping well, my purse down so that my pizza could be level on the seat. Yeah, and then you hit a little bump or something, the thing slides off yes. and falls down. You could strap that thing right on. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> and you can adjust this, too. If you, you know, if you need it bigger because you bought a big pizza because you're, you know, piggy, <laughs> nom nom, then you can make it bigger. <laughs> so, you know, you could get that bigger box in there. But yeah, or if you need a, a drink tray, you know, the drink tray that holds the four drinks, you can put this right over the middle and make it super taut and tight. Well, of course, I did it wrong. But uh, yeah, you can make that tight and hold that drink tray in place, push your drinks in there solidly. It's going to be level, so it's not going to be sitting all cockeyed yeah. in the seat and, you know, potentially spill. Because where do you normally put it? You put it on the floor and then you're driving like this holding your drinks. Yep. So not a stupid guard tray. Well, these are made in America, yes. right in Illinois, mm -hmm. and I'm fully in support of that as well. Absolutely. I'm, I'm loving this Elite series. You can also get their basic series that doesn't have the, the, the trunk, uh, the, the little seat anchor part. However, you can also buy this separately if you purchased the regular one and didn't think you'd need this or want this. Get it. I would recommend getting this. I have two of them, obviously, one for each of these. And uh, I have them in place on both of the seats. I leave it in the car on the seat. That's why I only have one for the video because the one's in my front seat right now. But I leave them in. And uh, then when I bring this out, I just set it down and I clip it in. So, But it does help to keep things in place mm -hmm. and definitely secure. When you tuck that in there and you've got this little lip hanging out, you can also adjust it. If you need to be closer, you can bring it in closer. Mm -hmm. Right now, this one's adjusted for... Uh, that one for the rear seat. Right. But uh, yeah, I, I would highly recommend checking these things out, especially if you're somebody that's in the car a lot or travel a lot, or if you, uh, like I said, deliver foods or yes. you have kids, because you can put crayons in here, you can put pens and paper. If you're a real estate agent and you need somewhere to be able to write and you got all your pens, Stacy's sold houses for a while there, you know. Did a and, lot in my car. Yeah, a lot in your car, and you can, of course, do the hand sanitizer. This little thing can be refilled. You just uh, empty it and put your own stuff in there as you use it through. This is smart, 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 let me tell you. Yes. Having that with the kids would have been really nice, too. <laughs> and, of course, nowadays, you always want to be keeping things clean and everything. And, uh, yeah, you can refill that bottle, no problem. 
These little trays are very, very handy for all kinds of things from change to, uh, for my case, I used my earplugs, I used my phone, I even had change in there when I went to the car wash yeah. and stuff, uh, you know, pens and all the other things you could stick in the other part. Very, very happy with these. Don't let the name fool you because it's not stupid at all. It's stupid, I'm crazy, you. genius idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, these are the smart car trays for me. But I, I can't imagine pulling out of the driveway without this thing in my car now, honestly. Because I use it every day. <laughs> so give me one for my car now. <laughs> Mine sits in my passenger seat because <laughs> typically 90% of the time I'm in the van alone. Right. And then when I'm not, I just unplug that. I leave the, the little... Uh, anchor in mm -hmm. and I just unplug it and I move it and I set it on the floor of the back seat. Yes. And I use it that way. But uh, on trips this has been invaluable to have the second one for the back seat as well as for the uh, CPAP. And uh, I think we may have to look into getting a third one. It's kind of what we did with the hot logics, remember? We got, <laughs> we got one, then we got two, then we well Stacy wanted one for work but she wanted a purple one. So the next thing you know we had three. Um, yeah. We did that with batteries too. We bought one we bought two, <laughs> then we bought three, then we bought a really big one that kind of replaced three or four. Yeah, it's kind of the way we do things. It's the way we roll. So we have two stupid car trays, and soon we'll have three, I'm sure. I'm going to link these below so you can check out more from the company, as well as uh, links on Amazon so you can check it out and uh, go, go look at them yourself. Tons of color options and variations. Um, I love the black one, and I like the red one for the rear. And uh, everything in my van is dark. Yep. So, With red accessories, which why we like this one. Yep. It has red trim on the black leather seats. And so yep. this was supposed to be mine. This is the stealthy one for the front seat. And this is the fancy one for the back seat. <laughs> so that it'll, you know, match the interior. Okay. Like, yeah. I don't know what the third <laughs> one will be. Stacy gets to pick it. It'll probably be pink or something. Pink. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter because they're awesome. They are. Yes. So check them out. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us, and we will see you soon. Bye. I love this thing. <laughs> That's what I have to say. <laughs>